what's interesting about India is it has everything. You know, you need desert, you need mountains like Himalayas, you need whatever, it's all there. So I was just thinking like, why can't we just have it in our own backyard? When we have Himalayas here and no one else does. And it was never supposed to be a race. It was just supposed to be for me, you know, with friends, just go there, do it. And uh, so we were drawing lines saying, you know, can we actually do this run? And uh, earlier we were not planning on doing Khardungla, but we were kind of, you know, kind of going along it. And uh, since Khardungla is supposed to be the highest motorable pass and all that, we were like, might as well add that in. Uh, spoke to the army guys uh, and they were not very excited. They were like, you know, civilians can't do this, can't do that. It has to be an army man who can do that. And then basically they were talking also about the acclimatization. They were talking about, you know, you'll have to take a break at 9,000 feet for four or five days and then again at 13,000 feet. So I was like, what if we acclimatize better and you start from a higher altitude and come down? And they had no answer to that. They were like, yes, it can be done in theory, but you know, you guys can't do it because it's so cold and it's wind chill is like this and stuff like that. And uh, again, it was never supposed to be an organized run. It was supposed to be just a couple of friends doing it. And then when I spoke to other folks, they were like, man, this should be a proper organized run and it should be open to everyone.